Hey, it's Nintendo Sony Freak 20 Oliver here, aka Manny Wareen, guys, and the rest of the intros and extras towards this channel. My Twitter, Instagram, and Bitch and Brady on everywhere else in between, just in case you're um, wondering where I'm at. Anyways, <laughs> it's probably going to be December, January, when I change my name, Nintendo Sony Freak, to Nintendo Sony Lurker 2011. I don't know. We'll see. Because I do like to lurk in a lot of streams, and I don't lie. It's fun. It's hilarious. It's absolutely spot on top notch, fun ass times. Anyways, my friends, <laughs> your girl, your absolute girl. I talked about her a couple months, like April and May, earlier this year, in the middle of this year, about J.K. Rowling. Oh man, she's she's doing that pandering the transgender stuff and LGBTQ plus and everything like that. Like, bro, that's not how I roll. For me, I'm a homosexual, not homosexual, heterosexual, heterosexual. That's what I mean. I'm heterosexual, straight male. I like women. I love it a lot. I always have. I always will. No offense to anyone in LGBTQ. I'm not saying you're the F word or bundle of sticks or anything like that. You want to do what you want to do? That's great. That's and sleep with the same sex you want. Hey, that's cool. Just don't do it in front of me. I'm just saying. But anyways, um, nowadays LGBTQ plus even the maps are trying to get involved in all that. A.K. Um, evil predator people. I try to hurt and harm underage people, which is messed up crap. No. Absolutely evilly sick and disgusting. Anyways, um, this comes from Attitude. I've never read from Attitude before. This is like the first time I've ever, in a billion years, like ever read from Attitude. I'm just going to read it as Attitude.com. Um, this comes from Ranker, I guess, too. I don't know. This might be one of those crazy, crappy, shitty garbage sites, because I didn't go on one of the mainstream sites like USA Today, Kotaku, Polygon, and all that shit, or Verge. Anyways, on J.K. Rowling's new book features a serial you-know-what, and dresses up as a woman. It's been fair- oh, and I'm gonna get into this Pokemane thing. Oh, I'm totally gonna rip a new asshole in this thing. Huh? No offense to anybody that talks about Pokemane, like how that dude Leafy is here, you know, he kept doing the content con nuke B-O-M-Bs. And he got completely banned from YouTube, and that sucks, man. He was a dude I used to like watch him, like, not every day. I probably like to watch him once a week or once a month. And he's on Twitch, but he's not going to last that long, I'm just saying. My personal opinion, I think he got banned already. I'm not sure if that's a room that's legit now. It sucks. It really does, man. I'm down with 6, 7 million subscribers, too. I think he's at 12 million at the time, and then he's gone. It's insane, man. So I got to be careful. I talk about Pokemon, make sure it's not hate speech or bad speech. Anyways, um, let's go on. Like I said, follow me on Bit Shooting Brighty on Hardcore and Blair T. Follow me there on Parlor. And then there's a new one I just heard of from Cordering, K. German Ambleach, I think it was Discuss, Gisquaish, I don't know. Duchess, I don't know. Sounds like some German, Russian, I don't know. It's been fair, quite, and extremely problematic for J.K. Rowling's front lady. Then, boom, the first review of her new book arrives. One word, yes. The Harry Potter. Author has attracted widespread criticism, one of more spreading that phobia word, viewing the latest novel, Troubled Blood. Written under a pseudonym of Robert Galbraith, hopefully I'm saying that right, Galbraith, Galbraith, I don't know. The fifth entry in the crime scene, <coughs> excuse me, crime scene finds the protagonist, private detective, Coromas, Cormarius, I don't know, strike. Investigates a cis male serial that word, almost said it, which fetishes women's clothing and in one instance dressing up as a woman to trick the person he is abduct abducted. Anyways, let's move it forward. But anyways, I'm saying I may or may not do a reaction to some of the PlayStation 5 things that were shown. I, I saw half of the stream, I didn't get to watch the whole thing at the end. I did see the ending teaser trail that got award thing, so unfortunately I didn't be able to react to that because Oh, I'm mega hype for that shit. Oh my god. That is going to be some good ass stuff. Yeah, that shit's going to be off the chain. Anyways, um, let's move on. According to The Telegraph, reviewers such as Jane Renee, I am I'm saying that right, Kettering, the meat of the 900 page tome is devoted to the disappearance of a woman in 1974, believed to be the victim of a cross dressing that, that word. That ending deletion word. This quote, one wonders what critics of Rowling's stance on trans issues of the book will make of the book. 
Kettering? Kettering? I don't know. The British and Australian people have different ways of saying English words, so I'm real surprised. I only know English and Spanish, and that's it. <laughs> I wish I knew some Japanese, but no lie. But let's continue forward. It is not for the first time that Rowling, Rowling, however you want to say it, as I always called her J.K. Rowling, has woven in an anti-trans opinions into her literacy work in the second of the Striker book, The Silkworm. Never heard of The Silkworm before. I don't read a lot of books either. Detective tells a trans woman has not had been stalked him into prison. Won't be fun for you or be not pre opt The latest narrative would seem to be another extension of Rowling's commitments to transphobias. In June, she took the issue of an inclusionary phase. People who... Oh, that word. Oh, God, that is extremely disgusting as hell. I think that's the girls, females, time of the month when they're in their period. I don't know. I mean, back in the day, I used to brag that I had a lot of intercourse with like 80 plus women in college, thank God, in community college. So, good stuff. University, I'll never forget those days, even though it was like almost nine years ago. Well, let's move on. Before penning an essay defending her views. Last night, Monday, the 55 year old writer faced a fresh wave of outrage over on social media. Trans activist Paris Lee tweeted that J.K. Rowling, J.K. Rowling's new book, about a transvestite serial deleter. Meanwhile, in over the real world, the number of the ca of trans people that get self-deleted in Brazil has risen up to 70% in last year. Young trans women are left to burn in the cars and men would hurt us for being that trans and paranoid to send home. be sent home. It says, quote, I know a lot of you who follow me probably share some of the same of the fears around the myth of about men who dress up as women to hurt them. But if I wasn't trans, I would, no, if I wasn't trans, I suspect I would too, but I ask you to look deep inside your heart and question what really happened here. She said, ah, I am. I know they like to play that little puns of the emotions. Thank God I'll never be able to know what that is like because I'm not transgender, thank God. No offense to any of my viewers or subscribers that are. I'm just saying. If you're in the LGBTQ+, plus, IA, etc. community, hey, that's good for you. Fortunately, some there's some bad apples. In there. There's bad apples in everything, even every different race in this, even my race of Latinos and stuff. There's bad races and everything. Look at the freaking Bloods and Crips and the Norteños and Sorenos out in Cali and even parts of the Midwest now. That's insane. Like Colorado and freaking Illinois and Chicago. That is crazy they got Norteños and Sorenos out there now. That's wild shit. Absolutely mind blowing as shit, man. As far as J.K. Rowling was just doing this little preachy, no, oh, I mean, trans reigns, give me And then she craps and destroys. She gets chewed on. She gets the shit kicked out of her virtually on the internet. She gets a freaking foot jumped up her ass. Thank God she does. This lady's an absolute bitch, a disgusting piece of garbage human. Thank God. I never got into Harry Potter books. Thank freaking God. I read, I watched a lot of the movies. I'll admit it. A lot of the movies were really, really cool. Fantastic Feast and one and two. They were garbage. I saw them, but I didn't pay for it. I did the piracy thing. I sailed the high seas. As certain people say, like Review Tech USA and Quarter. And thank God. This lady is too much of a wannabe preacher. She goes everything against God. This is this lady. She probably does worship Satan and Lucifer and the Baphomet, in my opinion. She does. She's talking about blood and that M word where the girls got their one time a month period. That's unnatural. Sure. And she's She's a complete supporter of Netflix, and they do a lot of evil satanic crap. When I'm just saying, putting it out there, same with Hulu and Amazon too. Anyways, um, let's get on to the next one because this one I wanted to talk about the most, of well, the most. I'll see you in a minute. I'm gonna have to pause the video for just a tiny little bit. Okay, okay. So I'm back now. Pokimane is becoming a virtual YouTuber. The fans are melting now. This could be a whole separate video on its own. I might do it on Brightium about um, how virtual YouTubers and artificial intelligence. It's probably going to be in my Brady on BitChute, so be on the lookout for that. I'll leave the link down below if I ever get to that video, hopefully. It might be on a Saturday, I don't know. After I do my PlayStation thing, official price being $500 and 600 in other countries and 400 in, I think, Arab and Middle Eastern countries and then European countries, I don't know. Things like 300, 400 pounds over there. Quids, I don't know. Pokimane. Oh, God. This chick, Enos. Imani Yanis. It's back, man. <laughs> Anyways, um, this comes from Samantha Shays from The Daily Dot. 
I couldn't find this news anywhere else, so I had to talk about it over here. A lot of them are taking over the world. In another two to five years, watching Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft, even Sega, have all their waifu chicks. They're going to have all their females like Samus Aran. In my personal opinion, this is what's coming. I should say it right the hell now. They'll probably use things like Samus Aran and all the Pokemon waifu girls. Nintendo and Game Freak and Pokemon Company International. They'll probably use all the female waifu girls from like HoloLens or whatever. They'll probably do a big giant deal and use all of them. Have professional female voice actresses play their characters. Watch them do this. You heard it here first. September 17, 2020. And then not one or two years from now, it might be five or ten years. In 2022, 2024, 2025, maybe all the way up to 2030. You'll see this. I know I said this before in 2011, 2012. We're already at that point. In a way, 2022 and 2025 is already here technology-wise. And you already got it with the nanotech and biotech and all these flying cars that they're doing as prototypes for now. But watch, in another two to five years, they get normalized. They already had it with the mask and the scamdemic and plandemic. Watch this end up being another piece of technology they roll out. Because they're doing it. Look at that. Oh, my God. That is insane. The seven, eight-year-old me in the 90s kid, I would love this. And thank God I'm not a sheep one anymore. Or a zombie show. Well, anyways, a popular Twitch streamer, Pokimane, received backlash after her announcement. This comes from Samantha Shapes. Shout out to her. Daily Dot. Following her announcement that she is becoming a virtual YouTuber or VTuber. I'm not going to be able to say everything I want to say. My God, I wish I could. That's why I might do a Brighteon separate video. Or maybe like on my phone. Tell you how I really feel about these virtual YouTubers. Ho, ho. I'm not going to put my foot up their butts. But still. I like how some of them do their content, especially Project Melody last year. That was the beginning of the future there, of 2019. That is insane. And look how far she's come, Project Melody. Or Melody. And Silver Sable and the other chick. Now they do lewd podcasts. That's a crazy shit, man. Virtual YouTuber presents themselves as animated avatars. Sporks Kita reports. Pokemon, who his real name is Imani Anyas. Ains. Imani Ains or Ainis. Is known for her streaming herself, playing video game on these or five or five point five million followers. And I thought she had six million subs. She announced on the Twitter today that she suggested she was taking care of the stream's next level, showcasing her VTuber avatar and tagging artists the concept art. <laughs> taking no camps for she got backlash so damn hard, man. I'm not with her, but at the same time I'm not against her either. If she wants to do what she wants to do, that's totally fine. She's Literally almost younger than my sister. And she's like 27. This chick's 24, 25, I think. That's insane. She's almost the same age as my little sister. Man. She's awesome as fuck. And some of her streams I disagree with. Other ones I completely agree. I'm not simping for the chick either. No, since September, I'm still doing that. But anyways, um, so on. Some of the fans immediately called out Pokemon is cashing out in a trend. You're already famous for having to show your face. I one person comment on Twitter. Why are you working... With our hearts. We work with our hearts out. There's very, very many small VTubers that deserve recognition. You are ho hopping in a trend and sattering it more. How dare you? Another accused Pokemon cultural appropriation. That's a stupid ass word. It's not okay to get greedified by Japanese culture like that. You're stealing views from real Japanese people that completely are not okay with it. They commented. I gently ask you to delete this tweet and any re re reparations of Hollow Alive and Ninjisa san. While some VTubers are creating, criticizing Pokemon for joining, others are apologizing on behalf of the credit to welcome her into the community. Oh, I didn't know that. Really? Other Pokemon fans, streamers, <clears throat> are criticizing her for streamers because they won't be able to see her face anymore, Sports Kita said. Pokemon Sims RN. Yeah, I looked at the tweet of that before I started doing this video. <laughs> it's funny. Pokemon responded to some of the backlash, saying that she understands why people are coming there. Oh, okay. People are coming to her. But still plans to join VTube. I understand where you're coming from, and you are absolutely entitled to the opinion. I tried repeatedly to mention a stream. I don't want to enroach and crouch on the virtual tuber community. I mentioned that anyone interested to check out numerous creators have been one of three. I really hope she's telling the truth there, because if she's lying and bullshitting out of her teeth, she's a lying piece of garbage, in my personal opinion. That is like I said, she might be lying there too, but this is like the most decent one I could find that's not, you know what, it's not nude or whatever, because if it is, 
It's some really, really crazy shit. Even if you put Sentai in there, even regular virtual Hololive YouTubers and say,